lesser pains? Good. You were out for a while. I was beginning to worry. You were saying some strange things. Well, now that you're awake, you should probably try moving your limbs. I'm Natasha, a doctor in the underground. You've already spent a day in my clinic. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> you're very polite. Sampo's gone to clear up a mess of his own making. So I'm looking after you in the meantime. Based on your current state, I don't think there's any cause for alarm. You seem perfectly healthy. So if you don't mind, I'll go and take a look at the other patients. Sampo just told me that you lost consciousness. He didn't say why. Still, I'll wager it had something to do with him. He's always tinkering with his devices. Anyway, the opinion of the clinic is that none of you have come to harm. Sampo told me. Don't worry, the Silvermane guards won't follow you below ground. We've been cut off from the surface for many years. <laughs> Even when things were at their worst down here, they never showed. Of course, I don't know the whole story behind why the Architects ordered the lockdown. Who knows? Thanks to you, they might finally be about to lift it. Something that Wildfire's wanted to achieve for a long time now. Oh, please, you needn't worry. You've just been asleep for a while. I barely had to lift a finger. I might have exaggerated your condition for Sampo's years. But that guy owes me. <sighs> you better bring me back some medicine. They've been up for a while already. The young guy with the dark hair left first. He went with Sampo. Your rowdier friend took off soon after waking up. I imagine she's taking a stroll nearby. As for the girl in the Silvermane guard uniform, I told Sampo to watch her. But it seems that he left his post, and she made a run for it. Good question. <laughs> He's a... man of mystery. He claims to be a simple... cross-border businessman. Not that there's much to interest an overworlder down here. Either way, he's got a surprising number of connections. I've managed to secure more than a few urgent medical supplies through him, and he's been a big help to Wildfire. In any case, I don't think his intentions are sinister. It's a grassroots organization. Think of it as the Silvermane Guards of the Underground, but less stone-hearted. <laughs> no need to thank me. It's a doctor's duty to heal. I gotta find Martha. promise that if I win Hide and Seek, you'll tell Big Sister March all the ins and outs. Yep, all the ins and outs! <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it just means you'll tell me all the details. No hiding anything and no telling fibs. <laughs> Hook isn't an overgrounder, you know. Hook never tells fibs. Yeah, never! Well, that's settled then. Okay, let's play. Huh? You! Uh, when did you get here? Uh, th this isn't just hide and seek, okay? Let me explain. It's like this. After I woke up, that doctor said Sampo had taken Don Hong with him. I went around in circles trying to find the blue-haired scoundrel and bumped into these kids. They say they know where he is. But they said I had to join the moles or something if I wanted to find out. And to do that, I had to prove my strength by winning a game of hide-and-seek. Do you get it? You just got here and now you're gonna leave! Uh, play hide-and-seek with me! Hey, 
Are you done with your secret talk? The most time is precious. Yeah, precious. Okay, okay, we're done. Pitch Dark Hook the Great. This is my friend. He also wants to join the moles. Can he play too? Um, sure. I guess so. Then you guys are seeking. Boss, they don't seem very smart. Why don't we do a practice one first? Hmm, you're right, Julian. Okay, let's do a practice one. I'll hide. You two have to find me. So, you kids think you're better than us, huh? Just you wait and see. Ha! Gotcha! So what? It's just a practice. Wait until we're playing for real. You'll see. <laughs> Bring it on. Right? Now we're playing for real. You gotta count to 50 before you open your eyes. No cheating. 47, 48, 49, 50. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come, naughty children. Haha, -ha, I caught you. Hm. Doesn't count unless you can answer this question. But we caught you! What's with the Q&A? <sighs> I thought I had you there. Hmm, something's not right. That guy's been staring at us this whole time. Hide and seek might have to wait. Let's see what he wants. Stinks are telling me something's not right with this guy. But... <laughs> Nonsense! <clears throat> How many eight-year-olds do you see walking around that look like this, huh? All right, the jig is up. Your voice gave it away. <laughs> but I'm Julian of a thousand faces. <sighs> Why did you have to talk to me? My reputation is ruined. What will the boss think? No need for the melodrama. That was still a magical performance. Don't run. I got you, Hook. Not fair. I'm the boss of the moles. How can I lose to a bunch of villains? Do your worst. I'm not afraid. What are they feeding you kids down here? I... <sighs> I'm sorry, boss. I failed. Darn! How did you see through Julian's disguise? What villainy is this? <laughs> Those with keen eyes see the dust between the stars. I came up with that, by the way. Yeah, yeah, you're in the footnote somewhere. So, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. You can tell us now, right? Uh, yes. The boss of the moles is true to her word. Hook saw the blue-haired guy take your dark-haired friend to the fight club. The fight club? You don't talk about it. Is this more secret talk? Uh, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. Where is the Fight Club? Can you show us the way? Hmm, but it's an obvious building. Grown-ups are just useless. Come with Hook, I'll take you over. Thanks, oh Great One. That's Pitch Dark Hook the Great to you! Who said you could shorten my title? We're here! Hook, this is it! Uh, Hook's gonna go fight! See you later! Uh, who's in charge here? How can they just let kids attack each other? The moles are in charge, that's who! Uh, but only the kids. Wildfire's in charge of grown-up business. 
Um, the moles control everything underground. Ugh, they need one more player there. I, I gotta go. If you ever want to fight, come find me. 